you ever looked at the beauty of the Hellmouth and ever asked yourself, why can't I do this? And just jump all the way across it pretty effortlessly, in fact. If you want to do that, this is the video for you. Now, this is using a technique that is commonly referred to in the community as shatter skating or shatter dive sword skating. Um, you can also do it with uh, Well of Radiance Warlocks for well skating, but I don't really like to do that one as much because if you mess up, you have to wait for your super again. Whereas if you mess up with this, you get your shatter dive every couple of seconds. So it's not that big of a deal. So how does this work? I would recommend once again, practicing on a, uh, a stasis hunter with shatter dive. Uh, this is only able to happen because of the eager edge perk from the 30th anniversary event that so with this technique what you are doing is you are converting your momentum and the speed that you get when you shatter dive into forward movement instead of down movement and you're able to do that through a a certain combination of buttons and what you want to do is pull out your eager edge sword and heavy attack However, once you heavy attack, immediately after, I'm talking 0.1 seconds after, as fast as you can, you want to then shatter dive and jump simultaneously. Or if you're on a well warlock, you want to cast your super and jump simultaneously. And if you do it correctly, you will be launched like this. If you can see your shatter dive, oh, you, that also happens. So if you do it and you heavy attack and then you see a shatter dive, you've waited too long to do your jump and your shatter dive. And so you really want to uh, practice timing, uh, uh, getting it down as quickly as possible. And it really is just switch weapons, heavy attack, jump and shatter dive as quickly in succession as possible. Once again, I'll show you how here. Now, as you're traveling, it would uh, probably be good for you to switch your weapon, your sword as quickly as possible. I'm not positive it works like this for this type of sword skating, but for other types of sword skating, um, if you have your sword out, you don't conserve your sword momentum. So for instance, with Eager Edge, if I just swing, you kind of stop after a second, right? But if I wait and get Eager Edge, and I switch weapons, I can conserve that momentum and I can go much further, much quicker. And so I think that sort of idea applies to shatter skating as well, where as you're flying, switch your sword as quickly as possible, and you can just get some truly outrageous speeds and, and distances of jumping. So once again, just to recap, you need an eager edge sword, and you need to either be on a shatter dive hunter or a well warlock. I do not think there's a way to do it with Titan. You go up, it doesn't really have to be on a, on a ledge, it has to be on like a decline, I guess. But you, Switch to your heavy weapon, your sword with Eager Edge, you heavy attack, then you immediately jump and shatter dive or jump and do your well, it's a warlock, uh, and you fly through the air if you do your timing correctly, and then you switch your sword as quickly as possible. And that is how you shatter skate across the Hellmouth, across anywhere. Um, I hope to see a lot more people doing this because it's a lot of fun, it's very useful, and I think it's one of those techniques that, that really, um, I don't know. I think everyone should know it. It's a lot of fun. So let me know what you guys think. If you have any questions about this down below, it does take a little bit to get the hang of, but if you start to mess with the timing, you'll get a feel for it on your input device. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I'll see you in the next one.